Hi everyone, Gary Francione for The Abolitionist Approach. I'm still at my office at Rutgers University because this is only just several seconds after I finished the previous video uh, message. Uh, in this video, I would like to uh, explain why I maintain that abolitionists ought not to use violent imagery, you know, slaughterhouse movies or other gory imagery, in their advocacy. The abolitionist approach focuses on use and not treatment. That is, the abolitionist position is, it doesn't really matter how humanely you treat animals. I maintain that we don't treat them humanely because they are chattel property and our, 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 our treatment standards are very, very low because it costs money to protect animal interests and we generally don't protect those interests unless we get an economic benefit. So we don't really treat animals very well, but even if we did, even if we did, even if we treated them a great deal better than we treat them, it would still be wrong to use and kill them. It would be unjust because even if the animal has a wonderful life, to kill the animal so that you can eat the animal is to take something very important from the animal, the animal's life. And so the abolitionist position is it doesn't really matter how humanely you treat animals. It's wrong to use them. And we want to focus people's attention away from treatment and focus them on the issue of use. I think that a, a big part of the problem of using gory imagery is that it focuses people on treatment issues. They look at it and they say, well, this is really horrible. But the dominant, the dominant approach to advocacy in the United States and Western Europe, and most countries actually, is welfareist. So people see this stuff, and, and it's, a, it's in a context of groups that are telling them, well, what you need to do is to buy cage-free eggs and crate-free pork, etc. So it focuses their attention on treatment and away from use. We want to, we, abolitionists want to, to completely change the conversation, move everything away from treatment and onto use. And as far as the use issue is concerned, as I said, it doesn't matter how humanely the animal is treated. What matters is whether or not the use is morally justifiable. Obviously, imposing more suffering is worse than less suffering. If you're a slave owner, it's better to beat your slaves less than to beat your slaves more. But that doesn't address the question of whether the institution of slavery can be morally justified or not. We maintain, obviously, that it's not. It doesn't matter how humanely the slave owner treats the slaves. Slavery is wrong. Same thing with animal exploitation. It doesn't really matter how humanely we treat the animals. The institution of animal use is morally wrong. And I think that gory movies and, and other violent imagery, what it does is it focuses people attention, people's attention on treatment. And you know, the 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 we can easily we can see that many people who are involved with these large advert these large uh, animal welfare corporations that that use a lot of this violent imagery these are people that support well, welfare reform campaigns and single issue campaigns and whatnot because because the 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 imagery the violent imagery lends itself so easily to a focus on treatment and 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 not on use so what abolitionists are trying to do is focus people on use so when when you know when people talk to me about well you know yeah i agree with the way that you know conventional cage eggs are you know battery cage eggs are produced i always say well you know other forms of egg production may or may not be more humane because it's not clear to me that that um, you know cage free or you know free i mean cage free and free range still involve torture how much torture relative to the conventional battery cage hard to quantify but still involve torture and so what i'm what i always say to people is look obviously less suffering is better than more suffering, but that's not what I want. What I want us to focus on in our discussion. What I'm trying to ask, what I'm asking you is, can we morally justify if we don't need if we don't need animal products for health, uh, and if we don't need to wear animal products or use animals? I mean, if we don't, if, it's it's really not very complicated, given that we all agree that it's wrong to inflict unnecessary suffering on animals. Um, if that means anything, it means we're committed to veganism. And it's not a question of how well we treat them. It's a question of whether we can justify use. For more on this, go to HowDoIGoVegan.com. For information on abolitionist theory, go to AbolitionistApproach.com. And join us on the Facebook page, Animal Rights, the Abolitionist Approach. And we can have discussion about that. And uh, I and my moderators will answer your questions. Thank you for listening.